What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Just a quick unboxing of the new iPhone 16 Pro Max as you can see here. I've got this bad boy uh, came in and I was actually traveling so uh, not the best time for it to come in but let's go ahead and open this up and get this going. I am peeling against the grain so you can see that it works. You don't need to follow Apple's instructions and the arrows. Uh, and there it is. The beautiful looking iPhone 16 Pro Max. And we're going to look at a little demonstration of what the iPhone 16 Pro Max brings to the table. But we're going to compare it to the iPhone 15 Pro Max first. So let's go ahead and pause and come back and just do a side-by-side -side comparison real quickly and we'll go over why to buy the 16 Pro Max if you're a 15 Pro Max consumer already. Is it worth the upgrade? Okay, and we'll have to throw out the Apple intelligence down the road. So that's going to be kind of a, a an outlier there. We know it's coming and what's it going to bring to the table that this hardware can do that the iPhone 15 Pro Max cannot. But let's side by side it, talk spec differences, and whether this is an upgrade path for you. This is the natural titanium, and I'm going to be comparing it to another natural titanium. I didn't do the desert because to me it looked rosy or it looked gold to me, right? So I didn't want the gold. You can call it desert titanium, like gold. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So let's go ahead and do a physical comparison to the 16. You can see here, there's not much in these cases anymore, right? In these boxes, you basically get the phone, the cable, and maybe a little instruction manual. So here is the 16 Pro Max versus the 15 Pro Max. As you can see, they're about the same size. The boasting a little bit bigger display screen on this one on the 16 Pro Max. You've got your camera control button and they say, yep, you got definitely thinner uh, borders so that's definitely a uh, physical difference. Camera wise there's definitely tech differences but visually wise there's not a lot of difference here. Okay. So let's talk specs. 15 versus 16 Pro Max. Okay, so obviously the 16 Pro Max comes with the A18 Pro chip. Okay, if you look at it, there's not a lot of difference when it comes to the listing, right? It's just going to be faster. It still has six core CPU, it still has two performance cores and four efficiency cores, and it still has the GPU of a six core and a 16 core neural engine, okay? So the 17 Pro chip compared to the 18 Pro is got the exact same kind of specifications except the 18 is going to be faster and the 18 Pro is going to be optimized for Apple intelligence. Even though the neural engine is the same cores, this one is going to be optimized, where 15 Pro Max will not quite be as optimized for Apple Intelligence. Is that a deciding factor? That is up to you. All right. So that's just a quick look from the A17 to the A18 on the cores. Camera lenses. All right. So not a ton of difference, but we do have some. Okay. On the 15 Pro Max, 48 megapixel, 24 millimeters, the main. Then we've got a 12 megapixel ultra wide, 13 millimeters, uh, and then a 12 megapixel times two on the telephoto side. So you've got about a, basically a 48 millimeter or 12 megapixel 5x 120 millimeter uh, on the telephoto lens on this guy. Really, the only difference on the 16 Pro Max is you're doubling down on. The telephoto, you're getting a 24 uh, megapixel versus 12. And then you're getting macro, right? So if you like that close-in photography, you're going to be able to get that um, 
with a little macro lens that's on this guy. Okay? <clears throat> I know they've been boasting like, yeah, the camera's better. Oh, y you know it is a little bit, but is it a ton different? No. Okay? It, it, it has some. Now, when it comes to video capa uh, capability, again, a lot of this is in the software, but some of it is in the hardware. So we go from 4K 60 frames per second on the 15 Pro Max to 4K 120 frames per second. And they call that the uh, Dolby Vision 4, or Dolby Vision, right? Um, so you're going to double your frames per second on the 4K video capabilities, which is spectacular. So if that's a big thing for you, you're doubling down on your frames per second on your 4K. Still do the Apple ProRes, uh, 120 frames per second. This has four studio quality mics and it's really hard to tell on the 15 Pro Max they don't go into a lot of detail on the sound microphone ability basically you know, you've got spatial sound um, you've got some noise reduction and uh, yeah so I'm really anxious to try the <coughs> sound microphone quality of this because it's now boasting four studio quality microphones built into this guy so we'll see how the sound does over time uh, the other big thing to talk about is battery life. <clears throat> so, the 16 Pro Max comes with a 4,685 milliamp battery. Okay, so they're boasting up to 33 hours of streaming video, um, <clears throat> 29 hours of just, you know, video playback, uh, where the 15 Pro Max has a 4,441, I don't know why these weird numbers, it's probably just the testing of what the maximum capability is of them, or versus capacity, and up to 29 hours. So you're getting a little bit better, bigger battery life on the 16 Pro Max, okay? So, <clears throat> there is that. Now, that's gonna take some time to test that out. You can't test it on day one. The battery has to optimize for its use and kind of stabilize over time. So with that, you'll start seeing people saying if the battery is as good as they're, they're saying it is, okay? I never got that kind of battery life on the 15 Pro Max that they were boasting. Um, and I, I did have the battery optimization turned on though, so maybe that's why. You know, I don't know, <clears throat> but I never got those kinds of times uh, that they boasted when the 15 Pro Max came out. So we'll see if the 16 Pro Max does any different. Again, they're talking the thinnest borders. Yes, it gives you more display screen. The sizes again, you see this is different. This is a 6.9 inch display screen. That's diagonal. And then of course this was a 6.3 inch display screen diagonal. Both are OLED. You do get a little bit better uh, uh, pixels on the 16 Pro. Okay, they're, again, they're both Super Retina XDR OLED displays. This one here comes in at 2868 by 1320 on the 16 Pro Max. And if you uh, get that back here to this guy, it is 279. 2,796 by 1,290 on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So you are getting a little bit better uh, resolution display on the Pro Max, okay? Uh, Capacity-wise, no difference, right? They come in the exact 3, 256, 512, 1 terabyte. Uh, weight, of course, the uh, 16 Pro Max is just a little heavier. But you think, okay, I got a bigger battery, I got a bigger screen size, it's a couple more inches, right? So yes, that's where the extra difference is. Uh, 7.99 ounces on this guy to uh, 7.81 on the 15 Pro Max. That's 227 grams over here to 221 if you want to do it in grams. So a little bit heavier, but that's expected because you've got a bigger battery and a little bit bigger display screen, right? So that's, you know, what it is. Also on the charging capabilities, uh, the MagSafe charging on the 16 Pro Max, they're boasting up to 25 watt. If you've got a 30 watt or greater charging capacity, where 15 watts MagSafe and Qi 2 was pretty much the advertised limits on the 15 Pro Max. So they did say you got a 50% fast charge um, with chargers that supported it. That was up to like 30% or 40% or something like that. So um, you're gonna get faster charging, especially through MagSafe uh, on the 16 Pro Max. And then uh, the Qi 2 came in about the same, 15 watts, right? So you're not gonna get a lot of difference out of the Qi 2 charging pop, uh, capabilities. <clears throat> so those are kind of the overall uh, differences. 
And if you know, you're looking to upgrade from the 15 Pro Max to the 16 Pro Max, then I would definitely say, um, you know, the jury's still out, right? Maybe you want to hold off uh, doing it. Maybe you want the new color. Maybe you want that desert titanium, which is like gold to me. Um, but maybe you want a little bigger screen display. Maybe you want thinner bezels. Uh, but for me, I think, you know, I really want to take full advantage of the studio production capabilities that these phones now bring to the table. I didn't do a good job on the 15 Pro Max of trying to take advantage of the camera and the video production qualities and all that kind of stuff. I mean, today, these are basically like a powerful DSLR camera from the day, right? I mean, they're, they're, just, they're just great cameras, and not only for photography, but for videography. So I plan on taking a lot more advantage of this Size-wise, you know, I, I just went with the 256 because there's a lot of solutions out there. If you saw one of my videos, I mean, I, I can just mag safe a, 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 an SSD onto these bad boys, right? So capacity-wise, save some money and just get a portable SSD that you can uh, you plug in USB-C-wise and do your video recording to that. Don't worry about the size of the hard drive. You're gonna Apple really gouges you when it comes to the storage prices, so just go out and get a... Uh, an SSD that you can up the capacity um, on your, your phones, right? So I don't recommend going out and dropping down the one terabyte, okay? Especially if you're just looking to do ProRes anyway, because uh, it's going to fill that one terabyte up too. So you need a little more uh, expansion room for the SSD on that. So overall, you know, I think it's, it's a worthy upgrade. Um, you know, there's not a lot of difference aesthetically on the phone. I definitely say that. Um, software wise you're going to go to iOS 18 on your 15 Pro Max and you're going to get some of those features um, that that are missing that they were boasted in this um, but again this is optimized right every iteration the hardware is optimized for the latest iOS edition so it makes sense to upgrade the trade-in program is really decent from Apple so if you want to trade in your phone and go with the next iteration. Apple Intelligence is again that outlier. We gotta wait and see what comes of that. Uh, and then just kinda go from there. So the upgraded camera, the upgraded chip, performance speed, the microphones, the fast charging, um, the little bit bigger screen size. I mean, all of that adds up. So to me, it's worth the upgrade. That's why I pulled the trigger. So we'll definitely be having a lot of accessory videos and a lot more videos coming up on uh, cases and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the show if you like this kind of video. Give it a thumbs up. And as always, guys, hit that notification bell so you get notified as we start releasing tons of iPhone 16 Pro Max content and really taking this phone to the limits of what we can do with it. Uh, I've I've kind of neglected that in the in years past, so I really plan on taking advantage of all the different accessories and all the different power uh, that this this phone brings. I mean, this is a powerful computer in your pocket, so make it multitask and make it you know Apple Intelligence be your AI assistant, make it be your professional grade photography and videography tool and all sorts of things uh, that these iPhones can do for us. And just not just iPhones, but smartphones in general. Again, like, subscribe, and always thanks for watching and have a good one.